Hey guys, it's been a while, but I have some words for you. Um, God is speaking. Stay tuned. Yeah, 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 Let me introduce you uh -huh. to the cutting edge uh -huh. So precious and potent, it's the reason Jesus bled Same thing that David was sipping uh -huh. When he danced up out of them clothes uh -huh. To all the pious men, don't start tripping These aren't drunk as you suppose Okay, my brothers and sisters of Zion um, Everything that I'm about to mention And try my very best to relate a message of Jesus Christ From the Holy Spirit Um it's everything that God has been saying to me in this week. Everything that God has been using me to minister to other people in this week. Um, and everything that the Holy Spirit just downloaded in my spirit in this moment. And I pray that these words empower you. So, um, the Holy Spirit says, start off with the relationship with, with Christ, with the Holy Spirit but with Christ. Understand, right? Our father just showed me when he created earth and he created the human race, which he had me preaching about all week. When he created the human race, he created us because we are his children. Well, his children. So that means we are his pride and joy. Understand, he created us before he created Jesus and Jesus sealed the deal for us. He, Jesus is a part of of the Holy Spirit, the Father, you understand? But when God created the human race, we were his prized possession. The adversary is using us as a pawn. And I don't even know how to play chess, but I understand the rules of the game. The adversary is using us as a pawn to make Father out to be a liar or to astray us from Father and etc. Our relationship with Jesus, Father unction to me, he sent Jesus down here distinctively to go through the things that we went through and to overcome them. He sent Jesus down here as being in his image, as being attached to him, his spirit as we all are, um, to go through the temptations, to go through the spiritual warfare and to overcome it. To be that example for us on what Christ is, what Christianity is, what the Holy Spirit is. God is the Holy Spirit, which means purity, which means love, sacrifice, forgiveness, agape love, and the list goes on, right? Jesus is our first love because he is attached to our innocence, the purity in us, the that person in us that wants to go out and give and love and be happy and make people laugh but this world it curses us to be selfish and to justify our actions and to manipulate and to be jealous it's arrogance anxiety like so much goes on and it's just a manipulation to stir up the pot because now we're we're on that seesaw where it's going up and down up and down today we may be empowered empowered and encouraged and inspired to help other people but tomorrow we may be broken because of the choices that we made because of uh our desires to battle with the flesh Sometimes and oftentimes it's because we cannot forgive ourselves for this battle. For this battle. One of the messages that the Holy Spirit had the unction to me is that Jesus is our advocate. He's our advocate. He knows what we go through. But the more important uh, aspect of the message today as a whole is you can choose to sit there or you can choose to get up and fight. 
but a son and a daughter of zion will get up and fight because they know that that is the battle because they know that that is the definition of a soldier to be covered in the full armor of god and that the servant must go through some things they know how to bear their cross they know how to carry it they know how to hold the burdens and god never said that you won't fall even jesus had to deal with the sacrifice of the crucifixion but he got back up three days later the blood of jesus the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is more powerful than he who is in the world these things we have to remember as christians as servers we have to remember these things we have to remember them we as christians right we had to overcome so many temptations and we overcame and we were delivered from them but that means sometimes that it's going that same spirit going to come back around and it's going to come back up it doesn't matter what you do the only thing that matters is what you did about what you did how did you fix it how did you create a solution stop beating ourselves up we have to stop beating ourselves up i'm a victim of that too i will condemn myself in a minute after admonishing myself i will just condemn myself because i'd be like you know how could you ever get yourself in that position jessica like you know better god taught you better i'm here to tell you my sister and my brother get up get up like no for real get up right now get up right now and start pacing the floor and thinking and screaming out to god Scream out to Jesus and thank him. Just thank him. And whatever is on you will be forced to loose itself. Because when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, can't nothing that is not of the Holy Spirit stay upon you. Be encouraged. Get up. Get up. And the people that are in ministry, the people that are in ministry, now, from the people who go through all the pastures of being in ministry of what the world said they had to be the world what the world said a minister looked like what the world said a pastor looked like what the world said a daughter or a son of zion looked like those expectations of the world know who you are because the true power of God, the true power of the Holy Spirit was already prophesied and written in the Bible that Jesus will pick up and select his church, his church, not who the world said the church was, but who Jesus says his church is. And the difference between that, many are called, but a few are chosen. The difference between that is your fight, your fight. Your fight, your fight with the enemy, that makes you chosen because you can handle that crucifixion. You can admonish yourself and say I messed up and walk with your head high in victory because you are on the winning team. We will get knocked down, but we will get back up. Aren't you glad you made it through your testimony? Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that no testimonies mean that you will make it through? God didn't expect us to be perfect. He expected us to care. To care about his cares. To care about one another. To care about the body of Christ. To care about the sinners who don't even know Christ the way that we know him. Because those are the ones we need to be praying for and fighting for. Those are the ones. You could protect your spirit by giving it all to God and still pray for those individuals, even when they are in rebellion of the Holy Spirit. Because prayer changes things. And they'll know who to come to when that time comes around. But you have to still be open and willing with your agape 
love. Speak to your problem. That's the message. Speak to your problem. And say, my God is bigger. He is bigger. He is the almighty. He is the higher. So my sister says she a pastor. He is the higher. He is the almighty. There's nothing you can bring my way that I will not overcome. There's nothing you can bring my way that I will not supersede. Because I have the power of God inside of me. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, can't no demon in hell sit inside of you. They can't manipulate your mind. They could try, but they won't succeed. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Get up and scream out. Get up and wail out. Get up and praise and worship. Read that Bible. Fill yourself with the Holy Spirit so you can be free. Your sons and your daughters lives depends on who you choose to believe. Do you choose to believe the report of the enemy that manipulates your mind and your spirit? Or do you choose to believe the report of our father for the word that he left for us to meditate on? To live off of? To receive our nourishment You are not created to be held in bondage, my sister. You are not created to be held in bondage, my brother. That's the devil's lie. It's a choice. It's a choice. It is a choice. Will you choose God? Will you choose God? God loves us so much. He hates sin because he hates what it does to his creation. So it makes him kick up harder. And he go forward. He go before us and he go forward. You hear that car? The Holy Spirit said to start your drive. Get your drive in order. Get your drive in order. Because he didn't create you to give up. He created you to keep going. Whoever this message is for, I pray that it empowers you because I can feel, I can feel where God is trying to push you, start that engine. God loves us so much. And he loves you. He loves you more than you ever knew. Even when you're in your worst days. Even when you're in your worst days. Jesus is married to the backsliders. And he is close to those who are sick. And he will leave the 99 to get to that one. Start your engine. I'll see you.